guess one forex player has made me lose lots of money in the forex market is trading gold you know when you're a beginner trader the first thing you're going to look out for pairs that are very volatile because you want to scalp and now you want to make quick money off them but in the process you lose too much money but for me guys the more money i lost the more i was interested in learning how to trade gold and right now i can confidently say that i've learned how to trade gold and in, th in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you a strategy that has made me more than forty thousand US dollars trading my own accounts and also my prop, prop farm accounts guys so if you're near around here make sure to subscribe and let's get started with this video guys first things first you need to adapt trading on higher time frames if you want to trade gold because guys when you want to learn how to trade gold you need to avoid trading with smaller time frames because you're going to be forced to trade on uh, every time because you're, you're trying to see yeah, every move you see in the, in the smaller time frame you're going to want to trade it but if you learn my skill all the way i trade guys you're going to only trade gold once in a while every time when price comes back to your zone so today i'm going to teach you psychological zones and how we draw them and i'm going to be showing you off the history on how i've been trading gold you know off the zones just major zones guys so as you can see guys this is our price as you can see price came up here dropped and then even up here up here and it dropped and this is a major zone so you can see so and remember guys i'm on the daily time frame so meaning on a zone like that i have to draw it i have to mark it out so i mark it out just like this and why am i drawing it out because that is a major zone if you want more proof when we look at our weekly time frame we're going to see that this is more of a, a zone you can see the last time price was here this was in 2020 this one here this was 2020 and the time this time guys we had covid where people were getting sick of flu and all those things this is the time and then when price came back here this was 2022 this was during the ukraine invasion by russia then last time price came back here this was recent obviously in may this year this is when we have been having this bad uh, recession you know uh -huh, guys so i'm going to be explaining for you this simple strategy guys you're going to be targeting 500 pips 500 pips in the market while risking very less you know because these are psychological zones so for those that, for those that don't know what psychological zones are these are like key levels in the forex market there is no physics here these are just key zones in the market that act as support and resistance you know and if you can if you're able to draw them out you can set yourself aside to, from the, the, the 90 99 percent and then you can be the one percent guys so this is our price and you can see our price has been dropping smoothly as you can see right there so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going to talk about much about this part here where price was giving us impulsive moves retracements blah 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 i'm going to start from this part here and the reason why i'm starting from this part right down here this part right here is because uh this is where i made most of my money so i, I said like trading gold and making money i also made money when price was coming down here but i'm going to explain more from from the reversal when i started like really monitoring it now guys first things first the time when price was currently here every major pair that is against us dollar was reversing let me show you this this is euro usd you see same thing price was reversing you can see that let's look at AUD USD same thing price was reversing let's look at our last pair GBP USD you can see price was reversing at the same exact point you see traders so I knew that uh, this pair was reversing so I was confident enough knowing that this price is reversing because it's also against the dollar you know obviously so and you can see guys if gold is going up these other pairs are also going to be going up you know there's a time when in the forex market where they're all moving in the same direction now in all reversals that i've showed you it's only and only gold that gave me a confirmation that price was really reversing and that confirmation is a triple bottom you can see this is one bottom two three a triple bottom every time when i see these traders i'm always going to take my trade so where did i take my trade from so i took my trade and price broke this part here you see this line which acted as my neckline most of the times we take the trade from up here so let's draw this zone out so most of the time we take the trade from up here and the reason for this is because this is where price is coming back to retest we want 
press to break our uh, inverse heads and shoulders so when price breaks our inverse heads and shoulder from here we take at the retest but for me since i had my trend line that was coming from up here i wanted price to break my trend line and again try to push back in you know try and push back in so this is what i had guys so i had price just break this zone here so this zone right here as you can see this simple zone right there so now when you zoom in like this you're going to see traders what i'm trying to tell you you can see right here you can see price pushed up with momentum that momentum candle that is the first thing that tells me that okay we are looking at buys price pushed out momentum then it gave me what we call a doji candle a doji candle is an uh, indecision candle it tells us price is going to either continue going up or it's going to reverse so you can see then after this we had price push up with this candle right here we had price push up but again you shouldn't forget that this zone that i've drawn price broke it and retested it here with these candles right here if we don't look at the trend line because even when you look at the trend line you had this candle big candle broke it with the momentum that tells us price is reversing so guys i took my trade from down here after having this retest i took my trade confidently guys just like this you can see i put my profit and then i put my stop loss just here let's measure out my stop loss i just risked a few pips so mostly and i didn't take my trade on on higher time frames i zoomed i zoomed into the smaller time frames for my entries but i'm just trying to show you how i took this nice trade so the next thing is remember we're looking at like cold call levels the first level was down here this down here this is the downer level right there. you can see this was the first level you can see price tested this level one two three times and every time when price touches it it reverses but in this moment price gave us what we call an inverse head and shoulder because if i zoom into the small when i zoom into the weekly time frame i'm going to say this is even a major zone turning point in the past when price went up it came back to this zone right here where we had too much noise obviously a point that was acting as our resistance because if i'm to zoom this one to this side you can see to this side you're going to see that this point was we tested by so many times price tested it here price tested it here you see now when price broke it here now this this meant that our resistance was broken guys so price just pushed back up a little bit up to this point here where we had our uh, supply zone and then it came back down to this point right here and the reason why price came back to this point right here because it had to retest its support level which is also our psychological zone again guys i took my trade right here and i put my take profit just like this put my stop loss just there risking so many pips but my target was just up here so you can see where i put my target again at a turning point i put my take profit exactly at this point right here this point right there huh you can see guys another trader targeting more than 900 pips and my stop loss was around you know 200 uh pips you see traders it was around 200 pips and my, all these trades that i take every time when price goes up 100 pips 200 pips i close off some of my partial profits and leave the other trades running guys so you can see so as price was going up then it gave us another pattern and this pattern is called rising wedge so a rising wedge means two things but price can either continue to go up or it can be a reversal so here it was more of a reversal why you can see the in, in even in the format that price was moving in and if you are too big in and you looked at other forex pairs all these other forex pairs guys they are, they are moving in the same way price was also reached this time and went up for most of the pairs so here the confirmation that i wanted oh and always the confirmation that i always look out for is whenever price breaks just like this it breaks and then comes back into a zone and then it goes back out you can see so this is a this is just enough to tell that price is not coming back here it has closed from outside it has closed back from outside meaning price is continuing to go back up because we have this pattern again guys i took my trade i took my trade so this time around i didn't stay in this trade for quite long i was only targeting just uh uh 261 pips so i put my uh take profit around this zone right there and my stop loss was very 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 tight around there you can see now when price came to this zone when price kept on going up it came to this zone right here but now here i know okay price has gone high what do i do i look into the previous so when i zoom out like this you're going to see price has come to this zone which is 
a major zone. So what do you expect? Price to reverse. So now here what price did? Price gave us a rising wedge. Let's zoom into the for our candle for you, for you to be able to see this. Uh -huh, guys. So this is the zone that I drew. So the, I've seen this multiple times in the Forex market. Anytime when you see price giving you a, a rising wedge or a falling wedge and it, it does this. Anytime when you see price give you this, and I'm going to show you this, I don't know how many times on this chart. On this chart, some chart, I'm going to show you this some structure. I've seen it for quite a long period of time. Anytime price gives you this structure, just like this, and then it breaks out like this, it comes down here and goes back here. And this is the turning point. Most of the times, uh, most of the cases, you're going to see price dropping like this most of the times and i've seen this on usd chef if you're keen and you watch my videos a lot i've seen this some type of structure so again when i had this uh falling wedge i mean this rising wedge i took my trade and price broke out here then we dropped by this time around i was taken out because uh when price was dropping it pulled back with this big big candle yeah i went into really a big loss but now I remembered when price came up back up to here and started dropping again. I knew, okay, okay, this is what, what, what price was giving me. So, what I, what I did, I waited for this consolidation right here. So, when I saw a consolidation, I know that it's time for me to trade because this is literally what has been accumulated. So, that you can see a drop. For consolidation, I just draw out a bomb box like this. So, guys, this is my consolidation again. Consolidation, you just want to see price consolidating after it breaks out, as long as you know where the price is going. So, since I saw this uh, price dropping uh, aggressively like this, and I saw this small consolidation coming in like this, I knew price was continuing to drop. What I did, I set my uh, sell stop. What does a sell stop do? I set my sell stop somewhere, because remember guys, when I'm doing this, I'm also looking at the news. Because remember, uh, whenever you have a consolidation like this, it's going to drop because of news, or what you call fundamental events. So we had a very heavy event that happened and I think it was CPI or uh, this was during CPI. So guys, we had price drop at a really high speed. So the only time when you're going to grab such opportunities in the forex market when you're using buy stops or sell stops. I use the sell stop and uh, for this I didn't stay in the market again for quite a long period of time. I just stayed in here for only uh, 160 pips which is a lot again when you're trading gold guys. So. So this is how I caught this trade and then price has kept on dropping. So you can see guys, price kept on dropping and it kept on dropping. Now it came back to this zone here. So this is the time uh, I, I came back into the market when price came back to this zone right here. This is zone right here. And the reason why I was more interested in this zone, again, all these zones that I'm drawing right now guys, I already have these in my analysis, but I'm just doing for you this analysis so that you can see what I was basing on. So, and the reason why this was my point of interest, because this right here, when you take this zone to your past, you're going to see that uh, this was an important zone. So, let's zoom out like this so that you can see what I'm trying to mean. So, you can see guys, when you bring this line right here to this zone, boom, you can see. But this was a turning point again this is the psychological level you can see here price acted as support bounced off went up support bounced off went up here price broke it first rejected but after it broke it came back down here rejected you can see so what happens when price comes back there again psychological level these are zones that you, these are zones that you always want to look out for you can see price bounces off here one two and i take my trend around this zone right here we push back to the upper side and we pushed up to up here you see traders but again when price was pushing up what i just showed you whenever you see this you know that price is uh, going to reverse so something we had here this zone right here and not, not only this even down here i forgot to draw this guys we had here uh this small falling wedge so when you zoom into the small time frame you'll see it we have the falling wedge right here and then on this falling wedge guys we have the same thing that i just told you this is now the opposite so this is the opposite of this one right here so this is the opposite this what i'm going to explain now is the opposite of this one here so every time when you see price giving you a, 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 a falling wedge breaks out then we test the same zone it's going to push up the same thing we saw here price breaks out we test the same zone then you see then the same thing happened again here you see, when price came here, now everyone thought that price is now going to drop big time. You see, around this zone here. Again, price dropped, yes. But you don't want to see this consolidation when price is dropping. 
That's why it went back up. Now it retested the same zone where the same zone when Paris was there in uh, 2022 when Ukraine was invaded. You can see. Price gave me the same structure, literally. I know how to trade gold now, guys, because all the structure that gold keeps on bringing up, the same thing that I've been, we have been seeing for quite a long period of time, you can see. Price switched here. I took my trade, guys. And the fun, fun fact that we, uh, this was during my birthday, and this was one of the best uh, months so far this year, because I made crazy amounts of money trading gold. This is a time where we had CPI, we had, uh, uh, we had the NFP, and price just keep on dropping, dropping until it came to this zone right here so this zone right here when you zoom to the four hour candle you're going to see that we had we had this nice market now this nice market was also very easy to trade you know what that again you just mark out just like that you see Paris bouncing up and down until we had it break that zone and then come to this where we are currently at now where we are currently at this is this has been my most important point because price gave me one of the easiest patterns to trade you can see this shoulders this is called traders and inverse head and shoulder pattern every time when you see this draw your neckline just like this let price break out and let it retest then take your trade just like this guys i backed more than 200 pips on this one pair and most of you guys remember this is the time where we had price view well, this is where we had cpi and this was one of the most easiest cpis to, to be predictable everyone made money this is how i've been able to trade gold guys i'm just using pure price action logical zones you know support and resistance very simple things you can even see what currently price is price is currently giving us a double top you see probably telling us prices may reverse but the reason why price may reverse because we have to have a big gap in there guys so this is how i've been able to trade gold guys so try to use and draw psychological zones as much as you can guys because these are the zones where prices are going to always be coming to you know and then just wait with this strategy guys you need to have a lot of patience guys oh my goodness you need to have the ability to wait for months you need to have the ability to wait for weeks. You need to go like a week without trading. Just wait for price to come to your logical zone, your psychological zone. That's where you're going to be to trade. You're going to be able to catch 100, 200 pips in the market. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. Let's get this video to 100 likes, guys. Liking this video doesn't cost you anything, guys. Just press the like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next. Peace.